ready to tell us about that republic that you long for? We got 18 minutes and 45 seconds. You gotta tell you gotta tell us about this republic that you long for. Yes. <laughs> Right. One Republic? Oh, you listen to One Direction or One Republic? I don't knock the camera over. This is a, it's going fine. Just so. That is too close that you can't see the cat. One Direction or One Republic? No, oh, now you can't see anything else. You, you, you have to have her over there. To see. Finally, Todd realized he's on the air, and now he's got 18 oh. minutes and 7 seconds before the camera's out. Of intelligence too it, it's a uh, midriff exposing tummy shirts from rude from rue 21 in grand island they were out they were out of tummy shirts at skagway so we went to rue 21 instead what i said they're out of they're out of tummy shirts for the express the mid riff uh rue 21 was out we went over to Skagway. Think things went downhill. We're running out of time here. We got 15 minutes and two seconds left on this. Well, you can just go ahead and talk because your people bring her up to me. That's pretty important stuff too. Anyway, then you have first car Bush's buddy Richard Nixon as an activist vice president. Then a nation chilling assassination sometime under LPGJ with the Bundy boys keeping things in line. Then Nixon is president with Bones and A's, Ray Price, 51, and Richard A. Moore. Then DKE and Yale Law School graduate Gerald Ford. Sometime before trial, I don't fancy president. Well, my Prescott son has an activist, vice president under Reagan, then Bones and George H.W. Bush declared a new world order while beating up on Saddam Hussein. After 12 years of Republican administration, Bush passes the reins to his drug smuggling buddy from Arkansas, Bill Clinton, who studied at Yale Law School, according to some researchers, Clinton was recruited as a 
seen that hay offer in one of their road scholar in Oxford. It's just be the old oh, Hegelian historical dialect two step tango. Oh, wow. Well, we get another federal democratic administration with scandal and disgraceful and a mix of fail. Is that too? Uh, is that not when Johnson, when Johnson, William Bob, and Cole put in their bunker in Arkansas that you are a federal boy, but you do have competition for the job you see. Oh, you, you do so got that competition. He, 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 he. We would never put all our eggs in one basket, boy. You don't want to let two people do the same thing. <laughs> if two people are doing the same thing, that means they're in competition with one another. Eggs in one basket. I'm looking for something better to read. There's a... You ever notice if you're doing the same thing, you should be like helping each other, not competing. The World Trade Center tragedy on September 11, 2001 murdered just under 3,000 Americans. The most costly attack ever on U.S. soil. Today, it's still not investigated, unsolved, and virtually forgotten, except for Frank and Rose. This guy tells beautiful stories. Why is it the question of WTC? Essentially, because President Bush claims he cannot be bothered. He does not want his staff distracted. They are busy with the war on terror. Distracted? This matter could be disposed of in a 30 minute press conference. One of the initial and so far the only domestic physical act in this war on terror. And Mr. Bush has apparently his own reasons for avoiding it. Oh, Rock has said good job. The country with less transitory interest has a right to know the reality of WTC. In one year, this war on terror. As only this single disastrous WBC episode, Mr. Bush has skillfully directed public attention to Afghanistan and Pakistan, but failed to show how Afghanistan and Pakistan ties to WBC. Reality is where the public interest resides. For the public, the WBC is WTC is that a poor reality aspect where Bush ducks and weaves. Even further, he prevailed upon Senator Dashley to kill a senator inquiry and force cold water on any public inquiry. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Why 